Modern Real Estate Practice, page 430. Pyramiding. An effective method for real estate investors to increase their holdings without investing additional capital is through pyramiding. Pyramiding is the process of using one property to drive the acquisition of additional properties. Two methods of pyramiding can be used. Pyramiding through sale and pyramiding through refinance. In pyramiding through sale, an investor first acquires a property and then improves it for resale at a substantially higher price. The profit from the sale of the first property is used to purchase additional properties. The disadvantage of this method is that the proceeds from each sale are subject to taxation. In practice, an investor bought a small, rundown, vacant commercial building for $125,000. The building was refurbished over the next three months at a cost of $45,000. The investor then sold the property for $375,000. The investor used the $170,000 he cleared from the sale after remodeling costs and taxes to buy an almost vacant, rundown, strip shopping center with eight units. He plans to spend $100,000 renovating units and then sell each as a tenancy in common for at least $75,000. The goal of pyramiding through refinancing is to use the value of the original property to drive the acquisition of additional properties while retaining all the properties acquired. The investor refinances the original property and uses the proceeds of the refinance to purchase additional properties. These properties are refinanced enabling the investor to acquire further properties. By holding on to the properties, the investor may delay the capital gains taxes that would result from a sale. In practice, an investor bought a single family rental property for $340,000, making a down payment of $100,000. In 10 years, when the loan balance was $190,000, the investor refinanced the property for $600,000. She used the $410,000 she received after the first loan was paid off to buy three more investment properties without adding a single dollar to her original investment capital. She now owns four investment properties. Note, the forms of pyramiding described here are not related to a pyramid scheme, which is an illegal enterprise. Tax benefits. Income tax laws change frequently and some tax advantages of owning investment real estate are altered periodically by Congress. An investor can make a more educated and profitable real estate purchase with professional tax advice. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, www.irs.gov is the best place to start for federal tax information. Depreciation, cost recovery. Depreciation or cost recovery 
allows an investor to recover the cost of an income producing asset through tax deductions over the asset's useful life. Though investors rarely purchase property without expecting it to appreciate over time, the tax laws recognize that all physical structures deteriorate and lose value over time. Cost recovery deductions may be taken only on personal property and page 431. Improvements to land. Land is not depreciated because it is not considered a deteriorating asset. Depreciation taken periodically in equal amounts over an asset's useful life is called straight line depreciation. For certain property purchased before 1987, it was also possible to use an accelerated cost recovery system, ACRS, to claim greater deductions in the early years of ownership, gradually reducing the amount deducted in each year of useful life. The Taxpayer Relief Act of 1997 established specific rules governing holding periods and taxability of depreciation for real property. Currently, statutory depreciation for federal tax purposes is 27.5 years for residential real estate and 39 years for commercial real estate, www.irs.gov forward slash publications forward slash P527 forward slash CH02.html for more information on depreciation. Capital gain. Capital gain is defined as the difference between the adjusted basis of property and its net selling price. At various times, the tax law has excluded a portion of capital gains from income tax and taxed various types of gains differently. Basis. A property's Cost basis determines the amount of gain to be taxed. The basis of the property is the investor's initial cost of the real estate. The investor adds to the basis the cost of any physical improvements subsequently <clears throat> made to the property. The amount of any depreciation claimed as a tax deduction is subtracted from the basis. The result is the property's adjusted basis. When the investor sells the property, the amount by which the sales price exceeds the property's adjusted basis is the capital gain. For example, Consider an investor who purchased a single-family home for use as a rental property. The purchase price was $95,000. The investor now sells the property for $300,000. Shortly before the sale date, the investor makes $25,000 worth of capital improvements to the home by adding a garage to the property. Depreciation of $15,000 on the property's improvements has been taken during the term of the investor's ownership. 
the investor will pay a broker's commission of 5% of the sales price. The investor's closing costs will be $1,800. The capital gain is computed as follows. The selling price is $300,000. Less 5% commission, $15,000. Plus closing costs of $1,800 equals $16,800. Now you're going to minus $16,800 from the $300,000 selling price, which now equals your net sales price of $283,200. Basis original cost was $95,000 and improvements adding $25,000 equals $120,000 less depreciation minus $15,000 and you're going to minus $15,000 from your $120,000 basis. That equals an adjusted basis of $105,000. Now you're going to take that $105,000 adjusted basis and you're going to minus it from your net sales price which is going to equal your total capital gain of $178,200.